Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Hi, my name is Stefan Sindoni. Our program today is entitled Native Lives Matter. Free Leonard Peltier. As early as I can remember, I was taught at school about the life of Christopher Columbus. What I learned later in life was that the North American continent was inhabited by civilized indigenous people. There were approximately over 100 million of the Native Americans and women coexisting in harmony at the time. Their territory was peaceful. On occasion, they had differences with one another, which were mediated by their tribal elders. The tribes followed a code of moral and ethic values. But all of that changed when Columbus brought his band of invaders to steal the Native Americans' land and that was in 1492. And it was at that time or around that time that the Europeans learned about the amount of land that could be gained through people who were in possession of a large territory. They quickly dispatched ships to the New World to stake their claim as well. Hundreds of thousands of indigenous people lost their lives in the next 200 years. Manhattan Island was stolen by the invaders for $24 and some trinkets. This was the great Native American theft. In exchange for the land, the Native Americans now have a museum in the United States Custom Building in Lower Manhattan. Each time I visit the Native American Museum, my heart fills with sadness and my eyes begin to swell. I can't help feeling the pain and suffering that was inflicted on these proud people. As I walked around the museum, I was amazed by the Native American handcrafting and their art. Some of the clothes on display that was worn by the Native Americans still had blood on them. I asked myself, so who is the savage? It was my belief you could kill the red man, but you could not kill his spirit. America is not the home of the brave, nor is it the land of the free. Ask any indigenous brother who was forced to live on reservations if they are living the American dream. The American dream is an American scheme designed to steal all of the land and control all of its resources to sell it back to its citizens for a profit. It has been said that every treaty created with the Native Americans has been broken. Red Earth was stolen and is now a nation of white lies. There are over 300 Native American reservations in America. Next to every reservation, you'll find either a military installation or a federal prison. When Native Americans speak out about the social injustice, they are harassed, killed, or imprisoned on trumped-up false accusations. They are convicted and sent to federal prison. This video puts the spotlight on Native American social activist Leonard Peltier, who has been in federal prison for nearly 40 years. Leonard's only crime is defending his people and their right to live against the U.S. government's terrorist actions. I ask all of you watching this video to donate at least $1 to help Leonard Peltier. Your small donation will quickly add up. $1 can quickly add up with everyone's generosity and participation. It is time that Americans wake up. Stop being manipulated by the media's mind game. When I hear Black Lives Matter, I say all lives matter, especially Native American lives. Red Lives Matter. If we are to continue as a nation that champions freedom and justice the American way, then it's time that we demonstrate it by making restitution to the red man. It's only right. For those of you watching who are in denial, please go back to your TVs and watch the Washington Redskins or Cleveland Indians. I ask the question, isn't it time we grow up and mature as a nation? People would complain if an owner named the team the Los Angeles Gangbangers. And what about the Washington Bullets? which, by the way, is the murder capital of the world. The name Washington Bullets wasn't changed until the people got together. Now the name is the Washington Wizards. Are you getting my point? In closing, I would just like to say all lives matter, especially Native lives. Stop living the lie. Help the people. Help the country unify itself and cleanse itself 
from the bad karma that we've gotten. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and listening to this program. Till next time, your host, Stefan Sindoni. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed When we've been there Ten thousand years Bright shining as the sun We've loved days to sing God's grace. Then when we'd first begun.